Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be learning about functions. Now uh, this is probably my my least favorite thing to teach because it is it's one of the harder things to teach but I guarantee once you learn uh, about functions uh, you will it'll broaden a lot of what you know with C++ so it'll make your life a lot easier and it'll make learning stuff a, a lot more easier so if we're talking about functions let's look at main okay main is a function it is a special function it is one of the only one of the main special functions built into uh, C++ now what the main function is is that it lets the compiler know that anything that goes anything that's in main that's what runs through the program if it's not in main then it doesn't run okay so the main is a function now if we look at the function uh, th there's different types of uh, function just like there's different variable types there's going to be an int function double uh, there will be boolean char string any variable type it could be a function and one thing that you haven't learned about a function can also be void but for the main function the correct thing to do in C++ is to make a type integer now if you run a research it is up to you but the correct type is supposed to be integer it won't crash if it's a void or something like that but it should be integer now anything any single function that is not of the type void has to return a value now what is returning a value so you know how we always say at the end of uh, main return zero that is called returning a value and once you return a value that's when the function exits okay so it gives the the function sort of a value so if we were to teach this whole function as a integer variable right once we return zero we're basically saying that the function main is equal to zero now I know that's really a bad explanation so I'm going to be uh, sort of giving an example right here so what we're gonna do we're gonna make a, a function called add oh no we're gonna just say number okay so we'll have a function in a number now this is the proper syntax of a, a function you have the type and the name so just like you have a variable you have the type and then you have the name this but the difference is that you have parentheses right and we can put some stuff in there which we will learn either this tutorial or the next but we have parentheses and then we have a left uh, opening brace and a closing brace anything within the local uh, if you declare a variable within these braces then it's considered a local variable and what a local variable is is that if say I declare a variable number one if I try to use it outside of this function it doesn't exist right it's just local anything within any brace so even if you do a for loop a while loop anything that's within a certain brace if you declare a variable within those braces it becomes a local variable and therefore it's not uh, it's not usable outside right so uh, for now uh, let's say let's just say this returns the number five okay so now we have our function number right here so we can call a function anytime we want so what, we're, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I'm gonna call a number okay and we're gonna say and L now if we had some parameters and stuff then, then we could put stuff in the parameters but uh, we can run this program and I don't even know if I'm going to get an error some compilers might not give you an error but let's see okay well we need to sorry yeah so we get an error so, so I don't know some compilers um, might give you an error some compilers will not give you an error but to classify that this is indeed a function that we need to have a parentheses so uh, we don't we don't run into any problems so that was just a little test to show you guys and so we get the number five see so right here we said that int number returns five so whenever we call the number function then when we say return five then the the value of this whole function is equal to five so that if that makes any sense to you so if I said return 5 plus 3 the number we would get is 8 okay so that's simple enough right 
So then we have we have one function type that doesn't return any value, right? And that is the function type void. So void doesn't return a type, and sometimes you don't need to return a type. So say for example, say we're we're doing a fighting game, okay? And uh, no no like no let's say we're doing a platformer, right? We might have a void function that handles walking, right? Walking doesn't need to return a value, right? We just need to tell the function just to, to tell the player to walk. That's what we're doing. Uh, if it's a, say it's an integer or something, maybe we have health or something, you need to return the health so we can uh, get the value of health. Then that would be appropriate to return a value, but sometimes you really don't need to return a value. And when we don't need to use it, then we say void. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this function to text and I'm just going to do CL. So I'm going to say this is a void function. Okay, and this time we're going to say text. Okay, okay, oh, sorry, I, that was that was my bad. Uh, we have to uh, just call text like so okay so what we're going to do is what we say text oh sorry I'm just gonna put sin dot get here this time so it doesn't keep on opening and closing okay so as you can see it says this is a void function so what so this is how functions basically work it goes to the program it says oh this is a function right here has a parentheses so it knows that this is a function right so uh, don't forget the parentheses if you don't use a parentheses it thinks it's a variable so I don't know if some compilers might allow that some compilers might not but the proper ways to put the parentheses earlier I just never put them because I was just testing it out just to see if it would work or not anyways so it, it comes right here it approaches this it says this is a function so it says we need to search for this function it comes up here it sees the text function so it goes through it runs this function the function says c out it says this is the void function it is the end of this function and then, uh, then it continues with the rest of the program so it'll say sin dot get then it will say return zero and uh, then it will return to the end of the program so uh, that is all I'm going to say for now so I'm going to say this is functions part one and we'll finish off the tutorial and we'll finish off learning about functions in the next tutorial so hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye